Hi. So once again, uh, we are back with the second module of IT IEL, and uh, that's about service management. In this module, we would speak about some of the key concepts on service management and how these concepts have been evolving over a period of time. Right. So uh, some of the uh, things that we must notice is uh, the fact that technology which is uh, impacting almost all industries around the world is evolving very very fast right in terms of uh, our ability to create computing resources or uh, maybe uh, let's say the cloud computing which is uh, changing the entire it landscape uh, in the uh, in various domains right now all of these uh, uh, aspects of service management are creating a new business models of uh, managing and delivering services right so what we understand is when we think of service management service management is a kind of uh, uh, you know as it has been defined a set of organizational ability for ensuring that the customers get the value in term, in the form of various services right ensuring that whatever services we deliver may it be it services or may it be non it services customers are able to uh, you know receive the value for the price that they are paying for those services now if we uh, really go deeper and uh, define what a service means what is a service uh, it is simply delivering value to customers by ensuring that uh, they are uh, able to receive the the value or the outcomes in a larger sense and without taking the ownership of specific cost and specific risk because as a customer i do not want to get involved in the uh, you know cost of various ingredients which have which have got in gone into creating those services for example if i let's say buy the wifi services from a telecom service provider i don't want to get into the cost of uh, deploying people cost of various hardware equipment cost of uh, the various risk that they are getting into and so on i would simply expect to receive the wifi services uh, at the speed from which i have paid for and it should be available uh, if not all the time but at least most of the time and the service provider should be good enough to resolve any kind of bottlenecks as and when these bottlenecks come so that would mean a good service uh, available from a reliable service provider now itil as a subject has evolved over a period of almost last 30 years it started from version 1 and somewhere in 80s and uh, initially the concept was uh, popular as a service uh, delivery and service support so all set of the entire framework was divided into um, the customer oriented service uh, delivery or the back end which was called as a service support service support took care of a host of people who were busy in delivering the services so in terms of the back end agreements with various suppliers in terms of deploying people across the ships and so on the service uh, delivery was uh, the customer facing work and the uh, customer was able to appreciate the service that is being received and in terms of uh, ensuring that those services are finally available to the end users and then came uh, uh, somewhere in 2005 2007 the concept of service life cycle services were considered just like products the way we have product life cycle similarly the services also could have life cycle right and this version became very very popular and uh, uh, in 2007 it came up and then 2011 it went through some minor changes and the concept of alignment of it strategy with the business became very popular and that was the time people realized that it's very necessary that it investments deliver the right kind of value to the business users and uh, that is the time the service life cycle was uh, uh, was the model 
that was practiced as a service management model and it became very popular it 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 brought immense value to uh, the, the business uh, organizations 2017 or 18 the another next version came up and that's what we are studying right now itil uh, version 4 and the framework got popular as a service value system service value system is an overall framework which uh, made it necessary to understand that service value could be provided in a certain context so we would speak about this model in detail as we move forward <clears throat> now let's understand what do we mean by the value and uh, when we speak about delivering value for the customer what is that we uh, uh, you know have in mind and how do we create this value when we think of uh, you know delivering value to customer we should keep in mind that there are two components of this value one is a real value other is a perception value so let me uh, speak about the perception value the first perception value is what the customer uh, perceived what the uh, and this is slightly more subjective in nature uh one customer might perceive the value to be good enough the other customer might perceive the same value to be excellent it's like 9 out of 10 as the other customer might think it's an average 5 out of 10 and there is a certain level of subjectivity and the situational component involved and that makes the service management even more interesting there is a huge component of people involvement or subjectivity component that become very prominent right and the real value is when the issue that the customer had the need got fulfilled if we take an example let's say uh, i would try to take a non it example just to explain the concept then we will come to the it world if you take a non it example let's say it's a transport service cab service which was provided to uh, a user and uh, the the objective of using the transportation is to go from point a to point b if uh, the user was able to utilize the transport and move from this point to this point the need was fulfilled that was the real value perceived value is uh, when the user was commuting from this point to this point what was the experience that the user went through was it a positive experience or was it not so positive experience right uh, will the customer like to repeat that experience once again or the customer would like to avoid it that is what would be called as a perception value how reliable is the service how secured it is how convenient was it for the end user how uh, happily the end user the user was willing to pay the price for it was it overcharged or undercharged or overvalued or undervalued right all of these aspects would create a perception in the mind of the user and that is how the perception value will get created so when we provide a service to a customer we would find that both these value are important a real value is uh, more objective in nature whereas the perception value would be quite subjective in nature and and it could be possible that uh, real value could be much smaller component of the entire value and the perception value is much larger right because as we understand human beings or human experiences are very subjective in nature Uh, we would quickly speak about the value chain how the value gets created from the beginning to the end so we have the resources and we have the capabilities we have the resources and we have the capabilities and uh, the the right combination of these would create an it service if you take an example a simple email service the email uh, services being provided to a set of business users so the resources would include the complete infrastructure and the software and the hardware components and capabilities would include the right people being deployed and uh, 
right kind of processes being created and so on so the email services would get provided now email services would be provided in a way so that it meets the utility and the warranty component utility is more in terms of the real value warranty is more in terms of the perception value how reliable is the service how what is the experience of the users who are using this service right so that would be consisting of the warranty and utility would primarily mean just meeting the purpose right and that is what would create a business outcome which and the customer perception so this is how the complete value chain would proceed in uh, case of the uh, service management now let's understand how the value gets created the value gets created when there is a buyer there is a buyer and a seller or there is a receiver and there is a provider right so value could be created uh, just by uh, between the two parties and that was called that was initially called as a mono directional provider is providing the services to the receiver that is how the concept was popular earlier but then in the current context how it has come up is uh, it is bi directional the provider is providing the services or providers are providing the services and receiver receivers are receiving the services so idea is value is co created by the provider and the receiver both it is not any more the mono directional it is bi directional how a customer is co creating the value customer is also ensuring and participating in the value creation by ensuring certain level of discipline is being followed certain processes are being followed certain aspects of the service management which are being taken care of and services are consumed the way it has been designed and structured that is how the the consumer is adding the services so we would end our video here and we will see you in the next video thank you